today we're going to talk about this memory card. This is the newest memory card from SanDisk. It was announced earlier this year. It's the uh, SanDisk Extreme Pro, uh, which supports the new UHS-2 uh, memory star standard. This standard gives you up to 312 megabyte per second transfer speed. Uh, now, this card also supports the U3 uh, class specification, which gives you a minimum of 30 megabyte per second transfer speed guaranteed by SanDisk. This is ext uh, extremely important for uh, transferring uh, either 4K videos or very high bitrate videos. Uh, so it will give you uh, the ease of mind, the peace of mind that uh, all the information from your uh, camera is actually transferred uh, and not lost on the way to the memory card. Now, uh, let's talk for a second about the UHS-2 standard. This is uh, the newest standard for memory cards. Uh, there are very few memory cards currently on the market which support this. And uh, let's look at the card itself. It's actually different than um, uh, conventional memory cards or existing memory cards. If you can look at both these cards, you can see that the UHS-3 uh, has two, uh, UHS-2 uh, has two lanes, this one and the one below while a uh, conventional regular uh, memory card this is in this case the extreme pro uh, 95 megabyte per second uhs1 has only one lane of uh, of uh, pins which uh, are used to read from the card and write to the card so this is a physical difference between the new card and the older card so um, what we're going to talk about now is the performance of this uh, memory card. But before that, we want to mention that um, there are currently very few cameras which support this card. Uh, the only camera which currently supports the UHS-2 standard is the Fujifilm X-T1. The only uh, camera or one of the only cameras that supports the uh, U3 standards is the Panasonic GH4. The GH4, by the way, doesn't support UH2. It only supports the U3, uh, so keep that in mind. So let's, uh, from now uh, here on, let's talk about the actual performance we've tested this card versus the 95 megabyte per second uh, card from uh, SanDisk. Let's talk about the performance of this card. Now, what we have done here is basically taken the um, two memory cards uh, and tested them one against another. The first is the, uh, our old uh, SanDisk Extreme Pro 95 megabytes per second. This is a UHS-1 memory card. And we have tested this against the SanDisk Extreme Pro 280 megabytes per second UHS-2, which is the newer card that we are reviewing here. Now, we have tested both these cards using several uh, configurations of uh, hardware. We're talking about uh, two different computers and two different card readers. And we've tested both uh, using the Crystal Disk Mark uh, 3.0.2 uh, software, which is a uh, software specifically designed to test transfer speed. Uh, we tested both read and write. Uh, now we've tested using two card readers, as we mentioned. The first uh, is a Lexar USB 3 card reader. Uh, it's a UHS-1 card reader, not a UHS-2. Uh, Lexar, I think, has a UHS-2 uh, version of this card reader, but we don't have it yet. So at the present, we have tested with this older one, which is interesting to uh, compare to the newer card reader which we got from SanDisk, which is called Extreme Pro UHS-2 SD card reader. Uh, so this is the second card reader that we have tested. And we also tested on two platforms. The first is uh, our older uh, desktop computer. Uh, it's quite old, actually. It uses uh, an older version of uh, an Intel processor. Uh, and the motherboard doesn't have UH, uh, USB 3 uh, support. So we added a PCI Express uh, card with UH, uh, USB 3 support and connected uh, both card readers to it. Uh, the results obviously are not optimal, they are not on the same level as a modern computer with a motherboard which has UH, uh, USB 3 uh, support. So we also uh, tested both card readers and both cards on our new Lenovo Yoga Pro uh, 2, which has a USB 3 um, connection, uh, and we tested, again, we tested all these uh, 
both these cards and both these readers uh, on both computers. So let's uh, start by looking at the results. The first uh, test that we conducted uh, was using the 95 megabytes per second SanDisk Extreme Pro, our older card, on the desktop PC using the Lexar memory card reader. Uh, and as you can see, the results that we got was uh, were 83 megabytes per second read and 77 megabytes per second write. Now this is slightly slower than uh, the numbers that are the official numbers for this card, which are 95 per, uh, megabyte per second uh, read and about 90 megabyte per second write. Uh, but these are the results that we got. This is using USB uh, 3 uh, with the uh, PCI Express uh, card on the desktop PC. Now, we've done a, a test with uh, the same um, uh, card using the new uh, SanDisk uh, uh, card reader, the UHS-2 uh, card reader, and these are the results that we got. As you can see, the results are significantly better. We're talking about 97 megabytes per second read and 80, sec uh, 80 megabytes per second write. Now, 97 megabytes per second is actually faster than the official numbers by SanDisk. So this is very nice and it means that uh, this card reader is actually capable of perform, uh, performing very, very fast trans transfer rates. Uh, so this is, uh, this is an impressive uh, result for the older card. Now let's move ahead and uh, test the new card, the UHS-2 card that we are actually reviewing here. And these are the results that we got using the Lexar card reader on the desktop. Now this really surprised us. We're talking about 44 megabytes per second, almost 45, but 44 megabytes per second read and 43 megabytes per second write. This is really slow. This is actually about half of what we got with the same card reader on the same computer with the same software um, using the slower card, 95 megabytes per second uh, UHS-1 memory card. So we don't know what to say about this. This is really strange, but these are the results that we got. Now let's move on and see what this, this card was able to get using the new SanDisk UHS-2 memory card reader. Again, on the desktop using USB uh, 3 and you can see the results here. Well, as you can see, it's much faster. We're talking 138 megabytes per second read and 101 megabytes per second write. So this is much faster than the uh, 95 megabytes per second card that we tested before, which uh, had a below, uh, results for both the read and write uh, below 100 megabytes per second. Uh, but as you can see, it's still f uh, far slower than what we should have uh, uh, we should expect it from this card given the numbers that SanDisk uh, uh, is stating. Uh, SanDisk is stating about 280 megabytes per second read and 250 megabytes per second write. So this is about half of that, even lower. So this is a bit strange, but again, this is an old computer and this is not probably not the ideal way of, uh, of testing this. And for this reason, we actually uh, went on and moved to our uh, new Lenovo Pro, um, Lenovo Yoga Pro uh, 2 computer, uh, which has a built-in USB uh, 3 um, connection. Uh, and we tested using um, the SanDisk, um, the new SanDisk USH, UH, UHS 2 uh, card reader, both the older card and the new card. So let's go and see the results. Uh, this is the results for the uh, older card, for the 95 megabytes per second card using the UHS-2 memory card on the Lenovo uh, Yoga Pro 2. Uh, as you can see, this is quite similar to what we got on the desktop. The read is slightly slower, more, more or less the same. The write is slightly faster, it's 86 megabytes per second. Uh, but if we will move to the results of the new card, the 280 megabytes per second uh, UHS-2 memory card from SanDisk, these are the results and they are very, very fast. We're talking 223, uh, almost 224 megabytes per second read and 188 megabytes per second write. Now, uh, we will uh, say this, this is still not 
the numbers that uh, SanDisk itself is uh, promoting for this card, again, about uh, 280 read and uh, 250 write, but it's very, very fast. And it's probably faster than anything that you will need currently with any camera that we can think, about, uh, think of, including the GH4, of course, the X-T1, which uh, supports UHS-2. So this is super fast. The only reason why this uh, is a problem in any way is the fact that it's, again, not exactly what SoundDisk is claiming. And when used on a PC, it's not 280 and 250 right uh, speed in terms of speed. So, uh, but uh, for all intent intents and purposes, this is very, very fast. So these are the results that we got. Uh, now we have a few uh, concluding remarks uh, actually given uh, talking about not the uh, SD card uh, itself but a uh, SanDisk SD card reader which we have some issues with. So let's go on and see a short video that we uh, compared, that we created for it. So this is the SanDisk uh, Extreme Pro uh, UHS 2 SD card reader. Uh, as you can see it's pretty small. Uh, it has a USB 3 connector, you can see it, it's blue and uh, the SD card uh, slot on the other side. Let's put the card inside. As you can see, it's not very uh, convenient to push it uh, all the way through. It almost gets uh, uh, inside completely, but when you move this uh, bottom, the card disappears inside the card reader. We really don't like this uh, concept. It's not very convenient. And as you can see, we have problems opening this uh, uh, this uh, uh, mechanism, it's not very uh, useful, it's not very nice to use. Uh, so this is the card reader, again, we don't like this mechanism, we don't like the idea that the card itself disappears. Um, more on lensvid.com.